Hi, this is Christy Hansen, reading for Beth, page 31. Miss Beth, is that you? I apologize for last night. Fact is, someone should make use of that cursed piano, and better you than any grandson of mine. Well, do you want to play it or not? Speak up, girl. You can't go through life being afraid. But, uh, Lori... Theodore won't be wasting any more time with that piano. I'll not make the same mistake twice. But he's such a gifted pianist. Yes, but seems he's inherited his mother's folly and his father's stubbornness. I'll never understand why Theodore's father could give up a successful business to follow some concert pianist around Europe. The silly fools had this ridiculous dream of living off her music. And where did that get them? If they had stayed in Concord, they might have survived that bout of typhoid fever. I'm sorry. Music and dreams are fine for young girls in attic playrooms. But not my grandson. Good day, miss. Begging to differ, sir. Every new invention, every creation, even great businesses, all begin with a vision, Mr. Lawrence, by a dreamer. Nothing you say will make me risk losing Theodore. One has to have the courage to hold on to their beliefs, no matter how harsh. And sometimes, sir, you need to have the courage to let go. Good day, sir.